This too is a mandala, mandala seven, heaven, sun, moon, and earth. The earth is represented twice there. It is, well, three times really. It is represented really by the circle at the bottom, the grayish white circle. It is represented under the moon shape there, the, the crescent moon as a kind of yellowish ochre circle, the sun of course by the red circle above the sun, above the moon, and the blue shape on the left represents the heavens. It's a symbol for the heavens, all in a kind of cosmic egg, which represents on the one hand Earth, on the other hand the whole of cosmos. It is a fusion of elements making a mandala which represents the cosmic process of heaven and earth. This number 52 is called Into a New Dawn and represents or symbolizes the movement into the new age of Aquarius. We are entering literally a new dawn in which a new light, a new voyage is set before humanity. This image is a very stylized image of a ship which is leaving port and with the sun and the moon both lighting the sky, venturing out into the unknown, into the new dawn which awaits humanity in this coming age of Aquarius. It is an image of adventure and enlightenment. This number 53 is called Beacon 1 and it's pretty clear on the top of a symbol of a mountain is a great huge beacon triangle of light surrounded by its aura spreading out and out into the world. That is the light of truth, the light of spirit, the light, the diamond, the Christ, the call of the Christ, the presence of the Christ, the call to awakening humanity, the beacon of light which draws humanity forward into the gradual perfectionment. This number 55 is called Radiant Diamond 1. You will find several versions of this. This is the radiant diamond again, the diamond representing, in this case, a kind of somewhere between uh, a radiant beacon of light and a cross, and something which, in a sense, can be brought right, brought, brought right down and placed on your table as the symbol of the cross can be placed on your table. The cross can be placed on your table or on a wall, but of course it represents a great cosmic truth the coming down into incarnation and the crucifixion of man on the cross of matter. This represents the road back, the divine light, bringing man back again to the spirit from which he came. This is Radiant Diamond 2, another version of the same in which the radiance is moving out from the central image and again giving the possibility of a, a cross, a shape which is, could be stand on a table or hang on a wall, and but which is not the cross of old, the cross of crucifixion on matter, but the radiant return out of matter to spirit. Number 57 is the same image, radiant diamond 3, in which the movement outwards of the diamond cross, which is somehow half cross, half beacon, half radiant light, has moved out and out and out, upwards and outwards, until it has reached the very edges, in this case of the canvas, but symbolically the edges of space itself. This number 58 is simply called Temple. It is the symbol for the temple of truth, the inner state of being. A temple is really an outer symbol for an inner state with the cosmic symbol of the sun and the moon over the door of the temple. This number 59 is called Temple Gate. 
It is the image of the temple showing only the gate, the entry into the temple, into that light of truth, coming behind the symbolic colors of red and yellow and violet. Coming from behind there is the light emanating from there. The intention is to convey through there that as you enter through the gates of the temple, you enter into a new light, a new day, a new state of consciousness. This number 60 is simply called Mandala 9 and is a, again a mandala of unity, of bringing together of the above and the below and the awakening of the heart center. The form in the middle there represents the heart center and the beginning of realization and of eventually of, of uh, initiation which results when the heart center is awakened. This number 61 is called synthesis and as so often in my painting is an attempt uh, to symbolize the coming together of the higher and the lower and the synthesis of the three in this case through the downflow of the spiritual lit golden diamond to the through the agency of the love aspect represented by the circle in the middle, the lower nature represented the, by the horizontal bar of red at the bottom are brought together in one hopefully eloquent image set against that descending blue. You'll see the form is wider at the top than the bottom and has a capacity to give you the sense of the light, the blue of cosmos, spirituality descending downwards from heaven as it were and then the form within that moving upwards from the shape, the red bar at the bottom through the circle up to the golden diamond of realization and accomplishment and achievement at the top. That is synthesis. 62 is called suspended. The image, I think, speaks for itself. It is symbolic form, suspended in moving, in, in caught up, in a kind of suspended motion and held there preparatory to a new life. This was actually an image created out of the experience of the death of someone I knew very well and represents the movement from one life to the other and the point of suspension between the two. This is called number 63, is called invocation and represents simply what it says, the invoking of the energy this time from the sun and the moon, symbolized by the two circles, one within the other at the top, and the kind of aspiring upwards to that light and knowledge from the spiritual levels. This is called Harmony, number 64, and is again an attempt to demonstrate that synthesis and harmony, which is the result of the bringing together of normally disparate elements, the higher and the lower. The flame-colored diamond at the top surrounded by the blue luminous edge coming together to the green shape at the bottom with its blue luminous edge and the bar at the bottom. This is the higher and the lower brought into complete total equilibrium, the synthesis again of the two creating harmony out of conflict. Number 65 is called simply Ancient Rite and symbolically represents an altar and an ancient rite which is going on at that altar. These two forms on each side representing the forces of, of uh, who are undergoing, who are taking part in the rite, the, the, those carrying out the rite and the bringing in of the 
symbolized by the triangular shape and the circle at the top, the white shapes of the spirit into the right, and the alteration, therefore, of the nature of the sacrifice which has been sacrificed on the altar. This number 66 is called Ritual Mask and represents, symbolizes, as the title suggests, a ritual mask worn by the, the priest when performing such a rite. This number 67 is called simply Solar and represents a solar system with its suns and moons and stars and, and the uh, planets around it and the various forces which make up a solar system. Here we have number 68, another mandala, mandala 10. And here you have again, as it were, a sacrificial table in a cosmic egg with the sun and the moon symbolized at the top. And inherent in that is the idea of sacrifice leading to the awareness of the meaning of cosmos. Nothing can be gained of the higher spiritual life without sacrifice, without the renunciation of the lower for the higher. 